after uh, uploading the second video on uh, operational amplifier applications some uh, gate problems are taken up for its video solutions the problems uh, taken up are uh, of illustrative nature or involving the concepts uh, we have taken here three problems on uh, linear applications and two problems on the other simple applications. So we start with the problem on uh, gate 2013 and uh, this uh, problem is basically on uh, linear applications and uh, uh, first we'll read out this problem and uh, then give the solution to this. In the circuit shown below, the op amps are ideal. Then the V out in volts is we have to find out uh, uh, out of these four options which is the right option. The circuit given is of uh, is of two operation amplifiers. Uh, this is uh, we call it operation amplifier one and this is operational amplifier 2 and uh, we have to find the V out here. What is given here is uh, that the uh, op amps are ideal, both the operational amplifiers are ideal and we have to find out the V out. So we start with the first operational amplifier. Here uh, this operation amplifier has uh, both inverting and non-inverting inputs. So it is working as a differential amplifier and the output uh, for a differential amplifier is as given by this equation VO1 this output of the operation amplifier 1 so VO1 is given as minus RF by R1 into V1 the input applied to the inverting input plus 1 plus RF by R1 RF by R1 into V2 applying to non-inverting input. So uh, we observe here that VO1 this is uh, uh, input applied to inverting input is minus 2 volts so it's minus 2 volts into minus RF 1 kilo ohm over R1 is also 1 kilo ohm so 1 over 1 kilo ohms plus 1 this input applied to the uh, uh, non-inverting input this is 1 and this is again 1 plus again say 1 1 by 1 so this gives us the value of 4 volts so this 4 volts is the output of the first operation amplifier now let us see the second operation amplifier here we know that second operation amplifier is working in uh, uh, as a non-inverting amplifier because the input is applied only at the uh, non-inverting input here so it is working as a non-inverting amplifier and uh, there is a relation to find the output that VOT VO2 equals to VO1 into 1 plus R by R1 so this is VO1 here is after the first amplifier 4 volts into 1 plus 1 by 1 so 4 into 2 which comes to be 8 volts so option C here is the option C is the right choice here for this problem uh, this uh, problem is a uh, although it's a very simple problem but uh, it needs uh, you to uh, uh, know the uh, gain relations uh, for the inverting non-inverting inputs in a case of differential amplifier or in other uh, inverting or non-inverting amplifier. If you know that uh, the problem is very simple. Thank you.